Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another Tuesdays in the Attic where we are doing Freaky Fast Formulas from the scrap room. Now if you're not familiar with Freaky Fast Formulas, I will have a link to the first video of this part of the series. I've been doing Tuesdays in the Attic for, um, this will be the third year I believe, but now we've switched to a new type of thing. So you've just missed one episode of Freaky Fast Formulas, but links to the scrap room will be down below, down below their blog, the Facebook group where they issue this challenge once a month, but it didn't start as that. It started as um, a blog challenge before the Facebook group even existed um, that they would use um, on occasion every few weeks or so she would issue one. So Jen um, and I went way back to the beginning and are playing with the very first Freaky Fest formulas that were ever issued by the original owner of the scrap room. So today's is the second one she ever issued, which I believe was August in 2011. Um, she prefers, she always says like, this is a great way to, if you're in a rut, to get out of a rut and to help your creativity flow if you need something to do. And I love the Freaky Fast Formulas. I go to them all the time. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with a cardstock background. Now, a lot of these I am playing with some um, scrap room kits from either this year or last year, um, whatever I have kind of lying around. It's a really good way to use up some scraps as well. So I have this Jen Hatfield Stardust kit from um, a Flavors of the Month or Double Shot or something um, that came with this cardstock. So I'm going to play with this today. And the Freaky Fast Formula just gives you measurements. And what I like to do is just figure out what I have, cut down my measurement, cut papers to my measurements, and then move them around the page. And then I'll pick out a photo and figure out where a photo will look good or how many photos I want. I kind of like to see what the paper tells me, um, where it's going to look good first. And then I decide on... Um, my photos, which is kind of backwards for what I normally do. But this is kind of a, I have so many photos to scrapbook that it kind of doesn't matter. And sometimes I have a photo in mind, sometimes I don't. Um, so I just picked this random collection that I've cut into and we're going to go to town. So the first one we need is a five and a half by nine and a half. So let's see what I have left. First of all, I've got some more cardstock pieces and the fun thing about, um, the Freaky Fast Formulas. So you have to have a minimum of these things, but you can always add more. If you decide, I want another circle. If there's a circle that tell, it tells you to cut a circle, cut another circle. No one's gonna care. Do it. <laughs> nope, no one's gonna care. You do what you think you need to do, right? All right, so I have some embellishments and it looks like just these two papers. Okay, so I need a five and a half by a nine and a half, a two and a half by 10, a one and a half by 11, two and a half inch circle and a five inch circle. Well, right off the bat, I'm seeing this green. I think I'm gonna make this a five inch circle and, it, and then it leads me to believe that we might be doing um, a circular photo is kind of already what's in the back of my mind. So I'm gonna make this a five inch circle. Where's my five inch? Oh, I better leave this out because I got to cut a two and a half inch circle. All right, so there's my five inch circle. I'm going to cut, let's see, I think we're going to cut this into a two inch circle, two and a half, two and a half. So where is my two and a half inch mark? It's right here. All right, 
And then my two circles are cut and I don't need to worry about it. All right. I think I'm also going to do one and a half by 11 on this. So first I'm gonna cut off the branding strip. And you can do multiple of the same pattern. It doesn't matter. And then we're gonna cut an inch off because I need it by 11. So one and a half by 11. I just need two more, a two and a half by 10 and a five and a half by nine and a half. Well, I don't think I can get, f oh, maybe I can. I'm gonna do five and a half by nine and a half. Two and a half by ten off this. So we've got this lovely branding strip, which I might use. Some cardstock, some embellishments, aka these tags and stickers. I and mean, this is all I have for paper left now. It's a really good way to use up like leftovers. kind of want another strip of butterflies and stick them down there. Right? Make it skinnier. Do a half inch, so we'll do a brandy strip size. That was 11, I think, right? That was the 11 inch, so we'll get rid of an inch. We'll put this on the bottom, that on the top. We're starting somewhere and I like it. Now we just gotta find a photo and then we can continue on. But I think this is gonna need some mixed media. But I'm already liking the idea. a photo in behind this stuff and then putting something right on there. Okay, let me go look through my photos. All right, I found a photo and I distressed all my papers with my little distress tool and that's as far as I've gotten so far. I've glued things down. I distressed even these two tickets I had left, put them down, um, glued this stuff together, but from there, I feel like our background needs something because I'm not a plain white background kind of girl. <laughs> Definitely not. So, um, yeah, we need stenciling or something, I feel like. 
But I picked this photo. I saw this one um, because it was my son and our new cat at the time. Her name is Pickles. James named her. And so I'm going to put... I was going to maybe put this sticker right here. Maybe. Um, but I wanted, you know... And I want to use some of these stickers up. And I just saw, you know, that you're a great friend. And that's what made me think of when I started grabbing photos. And I did a cat photo last time because I used the cat sticker. And I'm pretty sure I cut out a circle last time. So that's kind of funny that I've done both that with this paper. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is as far as I've gotten. I think, yes, I'm pretty sure we are going to grab a stencil and do some stenciling work. Um somewhere okay I've grabbed some things so I have these awesome um they're stencils from my favorite things stamps but they're for making like masks and things for cards essentially but I wanted something behind the photo but not like a dolly not something super girly so I took some speckled egg and I used that and did just some partial ovals because I didn't really want them to look like super like super like ovals um to create some circular areas and then now I'm just gonna hold this because I think I'm going to uh oh I didn't really want to miss it since they're oxides, we're going to lift up, we're going to splotch it, and then we're going to stamp with that same ink. I don't know if you guys could see that, that it lifted, but it did. Thinking about doing this stamp, this, this is Studio Light. Um, these are kind of, I have some new background or texture stamps on their way. They're just not here yet. I wish they were. But I'm not even going to use a stamping block, and I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to go in these little areas. And then we'll add some splatters too. So we'll do three things with the same ink. And it's always speckled egg. It just matches everything. It's a lot lighter. So it's just a subtle addition to the background. It's nothing crazy. I feel like some of these would be really good for a card. Um, but I really want something to go right here. It just feels naked. I don't think a giant papaya fruit is the answer. <laughs> no. could do instead of making these glasses they could just be hearts yep. 
just trying to use up as much as I can, which I think I'm successfully doing. I want to have this, you're a great friend on here, but it just seems so out of place there, I feel like. up too much of that green. Yeah. I like the way that this is all kind of just poking out of there. Then all I have left is a day to celebrate. And that, my friends, is awesome. All those stickers gone. I think I am just going to tuck this You Are a Great Friend right here. I know it seems kind of awkward, but at the same time, like, yeah, it, it goes. So there you have it. There is my Freaky Fest formula for today. Make sure you go check out the scrap room and Jen, of course, who is playing along with me. And we'll see you guys next time.